In this presentation, we will take a look at bond characteristics, different types of bonds, different characteristics that... For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info. Bonds can have. First, we're going to take a look at secured versus unsecured bonds. If something's going to be secured, it's just like a debt that's going to be secured. There's some type of collateral that is going to act as enforcement, some security on the bond. Therefore, if interest and or principal and or principal is not paid, then that whatever the collateral is will act as security can go after the collateral uh, in order to receive compensation for the lack of interest or payment of the bond. If something is not secured, if it's unsecured, then we really only have uh, the credit of, of the uh, payer on the line here. Nothing else can basically be going after in terms of assets that have been assigned as collateral or security on the bond. Clearly the point here is that a secured bond is going to be more secure uh, than an unsecured bond. So if of the two bonds, the secured bonds you would think would have higher value due to uh, the security, due to the collateral backing up and supporting the value of the bond. Then we have term bonds versus serial bonds. Term bonds basically generally have just one date in which it's going to mature. The bond will mature at a specific date. Whereas a serial bond may have a series of dates for maturity. Typically some type of, of standardized series of maturity dates within a serial bond. Convertible bonds are a type of bonds that can be exchanged for a fixed number of shares from the issuing company's common stock. So in other words, we can convert the bond to some type of fixed share, some fixed number of shares of stock within the company. And then we have the callable bonds. And the callable bonds are going to have an option by the issuer of the bond, typically the company that is issuing the bond, to call back or purchase back the bond at some stated price. In other words, we could retire the bond or the company could retire the bond or terminate the bond before the maturity date at some fixed price. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info.